Greetings, my trading friends. I hope wherever you are, you're warm. I know some of you out there are suffering through the cold. Um, it's Thursday, February 18th, 2021, and your cherry bomb is here for you. I hope it'll warm you up. We're looking at a trade today that'll hopefully help us bring down some of those positive bullish deltas that we have in our portfolio. How's your portfolio looking? Pretty bullish like mine? If you've been following these cherry bomb trades, I wouldn't be surprised if you're bullish like me. Uh, well, we have some futures action that's showing us some downward movement, some pullback in the market. Uh, which will benefit some of my positions. Uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to look at Snapchat. We're, many of our positions are uh, expiring tomorrow. Uh, gold is not one of them, I don't think, but gold will benefit. My Hopefully my Snapchat's going to end up right, right in the sweet spot. But uh, Apple has uh, pooped out on me. Man, there are some things that have gone the way I would not like, but let's take a look at that, right? But first, the trade overview. Take a look at that IV rank up there, four, SPY. It's got an IV rank of four. That's why we're in debit spread territory. That's why we're looking at a long put vertical. Uh, of course, SPY super liquid, and it has a one-to-one -one correlation with itself. <laughs> so not much to say there. All right, friends, let's hop into think or swim, shall we? And allow me to introduce myself. My name is Neil. I'm down here in the corner now, and, and I, this is Option Theory. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I do appreciate all of your views, all of your likes, and especially all of your subscriptions. Stick around to the end where we tell you what we do here and you can decide whether or not you'd like to join us. So on screen here, you can see that we have my portfolio pulled up here. I have them grouped here into undefined risk. Of course, this is a naked put. So we have quite a bit of bullish delta here. Thank you, Target, uh, for working out great for us. Uh, gold and Snap are my iron condors. We've got uh, bonds here. Let's see what's going on with the bonds. Bonds, they're going to go up a little bit, but probably not enough to put me in positive territory with eight days left to exp expiration on that one. I've had a good till cancel order, hoping to take 50% off for the longest time. It's just not happening. All right, so here is all of our uh, undef our defined risk trades here. Tesla was an aberration. I think that was a paper trade glitch because I got, uh, I got paid <laughs> to put on uh, this trade uh, with no risk to the downside. So yeah, that's terrible. That's, that's not real. I wouldn't count that as a real trade. But Apple, you moved down on me. You were a winner. I should have taken you off. You know, yikes. Oh, well. All right. So let's take a look at today's trade. Before we come back to Snapchat, I think you'd want to see that one. And we'll uh, keep our fingers crossed for a, a good down movement in Snapchat today. Because I've seen NASDAQ go down and Snap go up. But all right, here we are. Let's take a look at the charts for SPY. SPY definitely at near its high, right? And uh, let's take a zoom in here and see what we got. The trend may not be our friend, right? Higher highs and higher lows, okay? Uh, so the trend, if you're a technical analyst, right, it's going to say that this is going to keep moving up. And I agree, it probably is. But let's hope for some short-term downward movement, and this will give us the opportunity. You know, hey, look, if it does move down in the short term, we could maybe profit from that, right? Okay, over to the Analyze tab, or to the Add Simulated Trade tab. We're going to be in the April 1st weeklies which for today is 42 days to expiration we're going to come down on the put side to the at the money strikes here and we're looking at being uh, interestingly enough here this is going to be slightly different based on the information we see that because the market is down so uh, the strikes you saw in the email i believe were selling or buying the 394 and then selling the 392 which you can see is now in the money um, and we don't want to sell in the money. So we were looking at an 82 cent uh, debit on this one with a pretty good probability. So let's go over the trade as it was. Let's go over a modified trade. And then if we can, take a look at Snapchat. <laughs> oh, and by the way, that Baidu trade that I was considering yesterday would have been a great bearish opportunity, wouldn't it? All right. So uh, risk profile our probabilities let's set the slices to break even at expiration make sure the date is the proper date of april 2nd there we are and cool so we're looking at a 55 percent probability of profit on this one assuming you could even get filled at 82 cents you could then make 118 dollars. this is great i like these probabilities i guess the question really is are we going to get filled at this price so uh, the P50, by the way, on this one is near 64% on this one. So, yeah, that's pretty good. 
let's change this up to go back to this so we can see it visually here. We would want to do something more like a 393. Wait, no. 390 is going to be in the money, right? So we want to do this. 392, buy this one, and do a 389, no, 390. There it is. Buy the 392, sell the 390. Now we're looking at a 75 cent debit. The probabilities will be off a little bit, right? So we're going to see this shrink a little bit. But I feel like this is more likely to be something that we're going to see filled at the price we're looking at here. So up to you, which which strikes you're going to choose. Are you going to go with the cherry bomb email, which we'll talk about at the end that, uh, you know, if you're sticking around to find out what we do here, right? Um, or you're going to go with these modified ones that are more of the mechanics of buying in the money, selling out of the money on a long a debit spread like this. Well, that's what I'm going to go with. So I'm going to right click that, choose confirm and send. That's going up here on my screen here with a $125 possible um, max profit, $75 loss, okay, with some better than 50-50 odds, probably better than 50-50 on the P50 as well. So we're going to hit send, put that into my working orders, and let's take a quick look and uh, go to the risk profile. I'm going to go to the uh, positions. You see along the top here, you got all these different things. I'm going to positions. Hit Apple, just see Apple hit. Apple was pleasantly over here for us and took a nosedive. Darn you, Apple. Now, let's take a look at Snapchat. And th these are the uh, the gods we need to pray to today, right? We are in our inside of our break-evens, even though it doesn't look like it with this trade. Remember, for whatever reason, when I rolled this one, uh, this does not... Accur accur accurately, there's the word, um, represent what the trade really is. I was actually out here with my break evens. So I could make 300, not to roughly 200, if this ends up in the sweet spot. But hey, I'm already in the profit zone. That's pretty good. If I could get centered in there, that would be amazing. So I don't know. What do you think? Are you somebody that managed your Snapchat like this as well? Did you roll up your puts? We're hoping for a good day with Snap. I don't know if you can tell that. <laughs> All right. If you've made it this far into the video and you're already subscribed, I bet you're probably going to dip and you get a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, this is where I'd ask you to stick around and I'll just explain to you briefly what we do and you can decide whether or not you want to join us. So here at Option Theory, what we do here is we get tr trade emails from Tasty Trade. You want to get those emails too? They're fine. They're free. There's no strings attached. Head on down to that description below. You'll find a bit.ly link. It's only a bit.ly link, so I know that it gets clicked. I like knowing if I'm sending people over to Tasty Trade. Why? Because we take the emails that they send five days a week on a normal week. Four of those days have trade ideas. We like to take those trade ideas and put them into action, actually, rather than just, you know, watching people trade. Take Thinkorswim's paper trading platform and take the fear out of trading. Don't have to worry about when people say, well, isn't that risky? Isn't that gambling? Uh, you'll know what it's like. You'll have pressed the buttons. You'll have done it over time. We have done this for over a year now. And hopefully if you join us, we're going to keep doing this. You'll start to build up that confidence as well. So thank you so much for being here. If you do subscribe, we're so glad that you joined us. Until I see you in next week's, not next week, tomorrow's cherry bomb, final cherry bomb of the, of the week. It's not Friday yet, sorry. All right. Uh, happy trading, everybody. Mm -hmm.